Right, this project is about the essential question and the essential question is lines that you can feel or how do you make lines feel different? Now our vocabulary word for this lesson as well is impasto and as you can see here impasto is the painting technique using a pigment or medium to create a three-dimensional surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a linear drawing lose, using a medium that creates a three-dimensional surface. Now the famous artist that was capable of doing this was Vincent van Gogh where he applied his paint so thick that it created a three-dimensional surface called impasto. We are not going to use paint but we are actually going to use glue. So first our subject matter is going to be a chameleon and there he is there. I have templates already made and what we need to do is actually draw around our chameleon so that we get a contour drawing and this is the contour drawing. We're going to use pencil. I'm just showing you that I've done it in marker so it stands out for this video. Now as you can see I've already put detail inside my template so you can either do your own design or you can follow the design that I did for my template. Now when you do your lines remember that it has to be done in pencil nothing has to be shaded in, everything has to be linear. So as you can see everything is different lines, zigzags, curved lines, uh, irregular shapes, circles and um, when you have your pattern done for your chameleon it should look like this but again only in pencil and the reason why we want it in pencil is that we are actually going to go over these lines and draw it in glue. Now you're all going to receive a glue bottle and what we do is we make sure that our glue bottle is not plugged up and it's clear and then what we do is we follow the lines that we've drawn in pencil and we trace over all those lines that we've drawn. Now if you can see I'm going to go over all these lines. Now your glue that comes out of the bottle creates such a thick line. So when you are doing your design on your chameleon make sure that it's not petite, tiny, because if you do have tiny designs when you put the glue bottle to it and try to draw into those what you're going to get is a big puddle, a well. So there's my chameleon's head already done and let me just do his crest. Again we're not going to colour it in with pencil, we're actually when this dries we're actually going to use chalk pastels. When this dries and it takes a full day for your glue lines to dry it actually will have a raised surface so when you run your hand over the paper you'll be able to feel the raised lines that you have just drawn in with glue. And if you see there how quickly and freely that I can do this I'm just going to go up over those zigzags and you create nice thick but steady glue lines so you want a nice even pressure if you find that it's too tough and your hands are getting tired use both hands just like this okay because it can be tiring having to squeeze with the constant pressure over and now I'm just going to finish the tail there we are and follow it round actually I'm going to go back around it again just to make sure I've got a good solid line now that's my chameleon all drawn in glue that was using clear glue now here's one that I actually used with white glue so you can see that the reason why we don't want to use markers is that we can still see the lines and especially with the clear glue but both of them will have exactly the same effect because when this white glue dries it will actually dry clear as well. Now let me just put those to the side. When you do move your glue drawing make sure that you carry it flat and straight. It has to dry flat otherwise the glue will run. Now here is a final drawing where the glue had actually dried and you can run your hands over it and I've actually done some charcoal and pastel blending 
and I've used a variety of colours and that actually is going to be another lesson but that is just the start of your project by doing the linear drawing and the glue and when that's dried we're going to do the pastel blending when you've done your pastel blending then we're going to go over these glue lines with a printer's roller called a brayer because these lines are raised and they're still showing clear the brayer will go across and catch those raised lines and make them darker and then you will have your final finished project of how you can make lines feel different.